What's up guys, it's Brandon. Um, today I'm bringing you a video uh, kind of showcasing my setup and uh, just giving you some general tr uh, tips and tricks uh, about the game and uh, what I think um, could help some of you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions about my setup and like how do I set fast laps and uh, so that's, uh, this, that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to jump into a time attack here and uh, kind of just show you some uh, stuff. So my main thing, um, it's all about consistency and uh, comfort on this game. So right now I'm gonna jump on a 450 uh, KTM. I prefer the KTM on this game uh, for the 450 and the 250. Um, that's what I prefer. Um, yeah, so on a 450, I prefer medium gearing. Uh, so take that as you will. Um, I run it on every track on a KTM. And then on a 250, I like to do uh, long usually. Um, but I've been messing around with it because I actually ran uh, my fastest lap on Glen Helen of all tracks on short gearing. So a 250, I'm not sure what's actually the fastest gearing yet. So... Uh, I still need to play around with that more. But here, I'm just going to do a couple laps on Valkens where just to kind of show you some um, some different techniques and stuff. So I'm going to show... So this um, setup is my KTM setup, but I run it on every track. Uh, it's the one I run uh, on every bike. So for transmission, like I said, medium. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... This is a pre-recorded video, by the way, because I messed up doing the first time. I didn't have my audio uh, talking on, so I was talking in this recording. So this is a talk over because I'm a dunce. <clears throat> but and then here's my suspension. Uh, what I pr this is uh, that KTM suspension. Um, so this will actually help the bike turn a little bit better because the KTM can't turn for shit. So I got one click on the preload front. And then uh, two on the rear, stock spring stiffness, one quick to the left on the front, compression dampening, and then one to the right on uh, from stock of uh, the rear, and then two from the edge, uh, two quicks from the end on the rebound dampening, or damping, excuse me. Um, and then this is what I got, this actually I got from my buddy TJ. Uh, so, yep, a shout out to him. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Um, he actually gave me this, uh, with the compression dampening both equal, but I modified it, um, to kind of help with my rear suspension. So that's what I run for my setup, um, screenshot or whatever you want so you can, all can use it. Um, so now I'll just run a few laps on, uh, or the recording of a few laps on here. Um, big thing is, um, my riding style is a little unorthodox compared to most people. Um, so I like to come in wide to corners and then kind of roll through them. Um, as you saw there, uh, I'm leaning back. So I'm leaning back until I'm pretty much letting off the gas into the corner, use both brakes, and then third gear lean back as soon as I'm rolling and then uh, actually hit the gas as soon as I hit the gas I'm leaning back in the in the corners and then I'm always staying in super high gearing with that medium I will never shift below third gear on this game on a 450 even like if I can I'm staying in uh, third to four I prefer to be in fourth gear actually um, in a corner you might say oh are you gonna bog out some corners you will like if it's real tight yeah you'll bog out um, but third to fourth will get you through it. Like here, as soon as I'm I'm leaning back to that entire corner, gas leaning back. So as you see here, um, this is a good corner to kind of show what I like to do is come real, come wide, and then I fuck up, but because I lean back too early, uh, come wide and then kind of cut down out outside the corner. Or cut down on the exit as I'm powering down and then uh, the leaning back will kind of cause you to drift if that makes sense 
So here coming to the finish, ran a 31-9 with a major mess up. Fifth gear, leaning back, leaning back. Third gear, leaning back. Yep, all the way through that corner. Hit fourth, fifth as the rev limiters hit. Wide open, just send this. Just gonna send it. Third gear, hit Nick back corner a little bit, but oh well. Already in the fifth gear, if you notice that. Come around here, wide open, leaning back through the whole corner. Try and I whip that so I can lean, land at an angle, and then it'll just propel you. I like hugging the inside here. <clears throat> Mess that a little bit. Uh, you'll notice that when you lean back a lot, you won't. Um, you kind of hook on some random stuff more. It's it takes time to get used to, but um, trust me, once it, you're leaning back all the time, you're fully getting the power down to the dirt and uh, you're not spinning your tire, which a lot of people do on this game. And that's what causes, uh, you know, like lean back too much there. Uh, a lot of people cause it, spin their tires by being in first and second gear on this game and then uh, not leaning in the corners. So they'll be exiting and they're brrr, spinning their tires and not getting any power and I'll just blow by them. So uh, here's my last lap, uh, and let's see what I can run. Uh, I I shut up and be quiet in this uh, for the actual playthrough when I did it. So it's just some general things. I sound repetitive with the leaning back, um, which I know I am, but that's really the key is leaning and then uh, kind of coming wide and then uh, rolling through the corner and uh, just powering down as you exit and uh, just keeping flow and uh, just kind of curving through the corners r really not start stop start stop yeah uh, trust me when I say it's much better to roll through the corner and just putt around it than just actually completely come to a stop oh well, I guess this is my last lap I got one more yep that's this is the last lap I did fourth gear to whip that right. I'll just kind of let you guys watch and uh, just pay attention to my body movements and the gearing see fourth the fifth gear fifth gear wide open around that corner Fourth gear, hug that, um, just because I try to double that. Um, I've experimented with the outside as well. It's about the same on the exit. Fifth gear, shift down to third. Yep. Already in the fifth gear, and by landing that. If you play a few more uh, laps on that track, that corner gets real rutted nice and a time, a time attack, so you can hit it pretty nice. Almost blew the lap there, but that's a fast lap at Falcon's Word, and just, like I said, uh, medium gearing with that setup. Um, see how you guys like it. Some of y'all will hate it probably because it's not your riding style, and um, but it definitely takes time to get used to. Um, I'm also running manual, if some people ask. Uh, so yeah, um, but definitely go give that a try and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you want me to release any other videos about covering some topics about the game and. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.